Hi, I'm Alejandro Menendez. And this is Matthew Dobson. And today is a day of Finns fandom, <laughs> where we talk about all things Dolphins. So, Matt, considering the trade with Jalen Ramsey, what is your opinion on that? You know, I think it's a really good trade. It's going to help the Dolphins' defense go to another level. After this this year, after this year being very inconsistent and just having a lot of ups and downs due to injuries and just inconsistencies, it's going to be really good for the Dolphins to get a uh, have acquired him for, like, literally a bag of nuts. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's honestly insane. I don't know why the Rams would do that. I mean, we literally just traded a third-round pick and a little tight end that we never used, like, not once. I've never heard him, like, step into the game like, yeah, in his life. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but, yeah, and they gave us pretty much the best core in the league. Now, the interesting part about uh, acquiring Jalen Ramsey is his contract. Um, and it is a lot of money, but... So, uh, Matt, can you talk a little bit about his contract? Yeah, he has, like, I think it's a five-year contract for 100 mil, which is a lot of money. Kind of unheard of for a corner. put us down in 30 mil in debt. So, you know, it's going to be hard acquiring more people for next year. Yeah, well, what I heard is that we re- reconstructed uh, Tyreek Hill, Bradley Chubb, and Teron Armstead's contracts. Yep. So, I guess we, like, made them not get as much money. And... uh and then uh, I guess Jalen Ramsey is going to be getting a lot of that, but it puts us back in debt, which is obviously not fun, but whatever it takes. You know what I mean? With the reconstructing of the contracts really show like how much of a team they are that they're willing to give yeah, up the that's money. A, that's, yeah, they give up like $40 million combined, all of them. And that really showed it's like they probably sat them down. They're like, okay, listen, you guys are going to give up money, but you're going to have a better chance of winning a Super Bowl when you have Jalen Ramsey on your team. You know what I mean? And also – they're thinking, like, if they win the Super Bowl, they all get raises. The <laughs> owner gets a bunch yeah. of money. They get at least at least a mil. Yeah. So. And I just see, like, I don't know. I see Jalen Ramsey on the Dolphins. You know what I mean? Like He's a Dolphins type of guy. He's a Dolphins know what I mean? type of guy. I don't know. Um, now, a lot of people that hated on Jalen Ramsey in the past, you know, like, they, they say he yeah. he kind of is washed now, everything like that. Um, I mean, he was the number one corner in the league, a lot of people were saying. But wh- what do you think about that now? You know, yeah, it's been a while. He's a little washed. But, you know, maybe being on a new team is going to bring out the best of him. And being alongside Tyreek Hill, and imagine those practices. Yeah, him actually, Tyreek Hill Tyree tweeted Kill. about yeah, that. Yeah, I saw that. He was like, uh, I can't wait for practice. It was like a teary eye, like crying, happy emoji. <laughs> like, imagine, look, Tyreek Hill going against Jalen Ramsey and Xavier Howard guarding Jalen Waddle. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. I mean, imagine going into the game, it's like, as a quarterback of the other team, you're like, all right, so they have Xavier Howard, can't throw to that side. And they have Jalen uh, Ramsey, can't throw to that side. They're, they're literally going to have to throw a short literally yeah, every time. I mean, honestly, this this just boosts our defense tremendously. A defense that was riddled by injuries last year. I mean, just really sad. All those people going down. and um, that I don't know. This pickup really helps, I think. Yeah, it's really going to help us. And also... By making it harder to throw, it's going to force other teams to run, which allows Bradley Chubb to really exactly. hopefully step up this year. Hopefully, bro. I mean, he didn't do horrible He didn't do horrible, year. but he wasn't like what we thought he was going to do from last year. Yeah. So, moving on from Jalen Ramsey, I think we both agree he's a great pickup, but are there any other moves you'd like to see the Dolphins make now in you the know, offseason? Are there anyone you rather you think they should have gotten instead of Jalen Ramsey? Maybe, like, during the year next year, if Mostert's not doing as good, maybe trade him up for a, a pick or something for next year. Maybe see if we can acquire some young guy who can do good stuff for the Dolphins. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean in the draft, I heard that we might get a running back. Um, that guy from Georgia. I don't. I'm not a hundred percent on his name, um, but apparently he's really good. And you know, I think the running back is a very interesting position, because I think they usually fall down in the draft. You know what I mean? But I think they're like it's kind of a diamond in a rough position. You yeah. know what I mean? There's always that like one running back. That's that's like even though they might not be drafted in the first round because obviously the Dolphins don't have a first round pick, which is very sad because we were talking to Tom Brady or whatever. Yeah. But honestly, I think if that guy falls second round and we get him, I don't know. I don't maybe have Mostert as a backup back, but I I don't know. I don't see the need to keep uh, Jeff Wilson and Raheem Mostert. Um. So yeah. Yeah. Also, like you gotta think about it. The, it really showed us this year, Brock Purdy, who was the, literally the last pick in the draft, taking his team all the way to playoffs and not exactly. doing. Ter- he's not. It's not like he was doing amazing, but he wasn't doing terrible either. I mean, he was doing pretty amazing. He was. I mean, I mean, you can't say he was doing badly. Yeah, he he did have a great bad. team around him, but. But like the fact, like, 
you would think the last pick he would be terrible. Well, not terrible, but like you would see it. Like you can tell he was the last pick. Like he'll throw a pick here and there, maybe like get sacked super easily. You know, like that type of thing. But no, Brock Purdy like dogged it out and he did amazing. Exactly, bro. And uh, you know, part of me really wanted. I saw a bunch of videos about like Derrick Henry coming to Miami. Oh. And I'm not gonna lie, that got me pretty excited. But now that I think about it more and more, um. I think that Jalen Ramsey might have been a better pickup because our offense is already so stacked. And if we figure that we could just get a running back in the draft, then I don't think there's a need to to get Derrick Henry. Yeah. He's obviously going to want a pretty good amount of money um, being one of the best backs in the league. Either that or we can pick up like a uh, backup tight end for uh, Jacecki. I think he already has a backup tight end, Derwin Smythe. I oh, think maybe. that guy was like the third string. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, honestly... It's it's looking bright next year. What now? Here's the big debate as a Dolphins fan. Tua, you love him or you hate him? You know, I, we got we got a love hate relationship going on. Mm. I love him mm. when he's healthy and doing good. I hate him when he's just getting injured like every time or having to die yeah. because of those stupid little tackles. I know? think the Packers game sums like a a a Tua fan up like per, like what the Dolphins think of Tua perfectly. It's like yeah. the first half he does amazing like throwing dimes the whole game. Then fourth quarter comes around, we blow a big lead, and then, you know, he gets a concussion. I mean, very sad, obviously. Uh, it's all about the human's health in the beginning. But, and then, you know, throws a, like three picks in a row. And honestly, you can't have that. But this year, I I like him as a person. I like him as yep. a quarterback. And I just hope he can he can do well. Like, I'm I'm praying that he does well. You know, one of his strong suits is his attitude. Like, he's always wanting to push forward. He's never going to give up on you. Exactly. And that's, that is really important on a quarterback because your quarterback could have the most time in the world, but if he, like, wants to give up. Exactly. He doesn't want to, like, do good for your team and uh, put the team first, then you, he might as well be throwing to himself. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's it's those guys that – um that that throw one pick and they get down on themselves and I I don't think that's Tua. Um I think he's I think he's got a great attitude. He's had some really great games where we've we've kind of seen like the potential that's there. Um and honestly, I think like throughout the first half of the season, he was the best quarterback in the league. Like I honestly think that and at least the, at least the most consistent quarterback at that time. Yeah, and he still finished the season with the best QBR in the league. Uh so yeah. Yeah, I just think I see what Mike Jacecki, no Mike Jacecki, Jacecki, Mike McDaniel. Oh, the coach, Mike, Mike McDaniel. McDaniel sees in him. You know, he sees the effort, he sees his good attitude and all that stuff, and he saw like he saw flashes of what he can do. The only thing really holding him back is those injuries. So I think McDaniel's gonna ride it out and see what he's gonna have for store. Yeah, store I mean, they've already named him the starter of next year, and honestly, what what do you think of Mike McDaniel? Because, um. I personally think, like, what he's brought to Miami is just awesome, you know? Acquiring Tyreek Hill, like, as soon as he gets into the office. I mean, he wants to win, and that's something I haven't really seen in a Dolphins head coach in a while. I like, I really like that he'll, like, take big shots, willing to, like, risk for the reward. Yeah, like, go for it on fourth down like, and stuff. Yeah, stuff like that. And also, like, going in 30 mil debt for a team, like, hoping to get the Super Bowl win to get all that money Definitely. back. Like, He's willing to take the risk and see what these dolphins can do. You know what I mean? <laughs> <You> know, <laughs> yeah, like exactly. Coaches in the past, they would like be passive and maybe get like a pick up there, a pick up here, but nothing like big. Like they might like exactly. trade for a mediocre. He, he's making the. T- <laughs> he's he's like building the team that he thinks can win. And you know, he's like, he's like, let's do this now and just see how it works out later. Exactly. More like, more less like planning it out and being all cautious and just like a little kid. You know what I mean? Yeah, like a little kid. <laughs> His scheme is honestly amazing, though. He's He's been doing some really great stuff with the offense. Um, and we fired our defensive coordinator as well. Um, yeah. So what do you think about that? Have we picked up a new one yet? Vic Fangio. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know too much about him, but, you know, maybe a new uh, new look and a defensive coordinator uh, is really good. You know, maybe this, this coordinator is, like, very seasoned and a very – Good defensive coordinator who's seen many different types of offenses and exactly. knows how to he's, act he's, on against them. Yeah, he's a very distinguished defensive coordinator. He was the head coach of the Broncos, but he's he's a defensive minded coach. And uh I think with him, Jalen Ramsey getting picked up, a lot of guys um getting uh getting back healthy, I think uh, our defense could be uh very good last year. 
ne- right. next year. So I think I think the Dolphins are someone to watch for next year. Yeah, all having all these assets and having the coaches around them to utilize them is just really important for these Dolphins. And just putting them in the position to win like Mike McDaniel's been doing is just all we have to do is execute and play consistently and I think have a really good year. I, I agree. And just stay away from injuries to uh stay away. And I like to say one thing, die equals die. What? Die equals die. I, I really hate the Eagles. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I really don't like the Eagles either. So uh die equals die. Fins up. We'll see you next time. Bye.